Do you know what I've noticed? No one's done an NZXT X62 review with Ryzen Threadripper uh, as a video. Uh, Gamers Nexus did cover it, as well as the thermal paste application method. So uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to do in this video. To kick it off, we're doing a CPU-Z uh, benchmark burn-in test. Um, as you can see, it's at 1600% speed currently. Uh, it's about a 30-minute test. Uh, through the whole of this process, um, we pretty much reach 64 degrees as our maximum load. Uh, that goes with all the other benchmarks I performed, as well as the uh, first runtime of certain applications. Here we have Prime95 and we are doing a maximum temperature burn-in test. Once again, this is sped up. Here we have the CPU benchmark test of the multi-thread and the single thread of the 1920X. So we've got 6160 on the multi-thread and 427 per core. And now Cinebench. So Cinebench, uh, basically in this example, I actually took the affinity away from four cores so that I can record this uh, as much as possible without taking anything away. So the scores you can see on the left that I normally get is 2289. Okay, moving on to the Kraken JavaScript benchmark test through Chrome. Seems like a new test that uh, Guru 3 d is currently doing, so I thought I'd jump on that. And we can see that we get a 1112.5 milliseconds total score. Okay, so these are the total temperatures and voltages. As you can see, the maximum was 64 degrees, minimum was 35. Power, if you're interested in power, 135 watts was the maximum from that, just through WInfo. Moving on to 3D Mark. Just in case you're not familiar with 3D, 3D Mark, it's a series of tests. This is the demo currently that you're watching.
Okay, moving into our first benchmark for 3D Mark Time Spy, Graphics Test 1. Currently I'm running a 980 uh, Asus Strix graphics card that is slightly overclocked. I didn't expect it to perform very well during this first or second test. I'm just running this really for the CPU benchmark. I just thought I'd leave this in for everyone to view. Just in case you wanted to know what the 970 plus a Threadripper 1920X would, uh, would perform like. Second graphics test. And last but not least, the TimeSpy CPU test. This is the main test we're doing with the 1920X, just to see what kind of performance we get. Okay, so here you go. CPU scores total is 9370. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, please feel free to click the subscribe, that'd be great. Cheers, and thank you for watching.